Good morning, my lovely people. <sighs> I hope the lighting's all right, actually. I'm battling with pretty grey weather here today in lovely Devon. Um, right, I'm carrying on with this um, giveaway for the uh, 2,000 subscribers. Um, as you can probably tell, I have decorated this top bit. Well, top bit, that, that, that side. So I'm just going to do the other side and show you what I did, really. Um, I think I think I'm liking. I don't know what you think. It's very eclectic. It's very weird and wonderful, but I kind of like it. I hope you agree. Anyway, so yes, I went to town on that side, so I just need to do the same on this side. And I thought, do it with your subbies. So you're it, lucky people. Right, I've just got the um, golden white titanium here, which is what I put, painted the tree with. So I've got a palette to the side. Mix it a little bit of the old medium with it. You don't need it. I mean, to be honest, um, acrylic paint is so sticky uh, that you don't always need to use that medium. But, you know, because this could potentially be something that is washed in the future, I thought I would... Um, I'd do it properly. Yeah, I decided the trees weren't sticking out very much, so I thought I'd just paint them in. And then, um, as you can see, I've done sort of black outlining. Um, yeah, so you can probably tell exactly what I've done. And you'll see it here in a second. So, meanwhile, <laughs> back at the ranch. I hope you're all well. It's, um, yeah, I so say it's pretty gloomy here today, but it's warm, which is, you know, a godsend. Because here in the UK, we've had a massive hike in our um, utility bills, as in electric and what have you. So uh, I watched, um, I can't remember the guy's name, Martin somebody or other. Anyway, he's like a, I presume he's on TV, but I don't have a TV, you see. So I don't, I'm not really up on who this guy is. But anyway, his name's Martin something or other. And he's kind of like a, I don't know, what would you say, like a financial guru type person. And he gives you hints and tips on how to save money and, you know, where to get special offers and things like that. Anyway, he did one recently um, with a reporter and I can't remember who the reporter worked for. Sorry, memory is just shocking. Um, and he told him all about what they called a vampire um um equipment basically stuff that draws on your electric that you don't even realize so um yeah he was saying about well this particular reporter had a um an electronic mouse detect uh, deterrent i didn't even know you could get one of those things but there you go and um he said even though they'd not had a mouse in the house for four years he still had this thing going and it wasn't a massive saving. I think it was something like £8 a year, which, you know, isn't a load of money, but it's something that isn't needed. And he said, I just had it going. And then they started going through all the other things that were on in the house that just take a trickle charge. And um, it was uh, one was the um, laptop chargers. I mean... I'll tell you in a second what I mean by that. But anyway, laptop chargers, phone chargers, they all take a trickle charge. And anyway, he went through his entire house, if you like. And um, when he'd switched everything off, um, they estimated he would save, again, not loads of money, but it's still money, £82 a year. And he said, actually, he's going to go, he's going to go back round again and change all his light bulbs. I mean, I have got the energy efficient ones. I went for LEDs a few years ago. They were a bit of an investment, but they give you such a nice white crisp light that I love them. I've got one here in the craft room and um, one in my kitchen as well, because I've got quite a dark kitchen. So, um, yeah, and it was interesting to see you know, what drains your energy and all the rest of it. So, uh, yeah, it was... Uh, so, anyway, I was going to say, consequently, um, I have two laptops for work. Um, one is my company's laptop, and because I also work um, alongside people in Devon County Council, I've got a Devon County Council laptop as well. So, and I've constantly got those two plugged in, and I thought... 
right they're going off for starters and then when i need to use them because like now i'm not at work now until next tuesday today is wednesday so i was charging these laptops for no reason and um so i switched them off <laughs> and uh my printer you know i only ever use that if i've got um sales on etsy or ebay i do a bit of ebay as well so I, I, I switched that one off um what else oh the microwave i rarely use my microwave although i don't know if i told you but anyway i got a new combination one so it's an oven microwave and grill because you know it's only me and when i cook i don't know like a pizza for instance i'm having to heat up a whole big oven just to cook a pizza and maybe some chips or something so um i they were on special offer in Argos. I think I've told you about this. So I got one of those. So I don't now need to heat up a whole oven just to cook a few things. So, um, yeah, so I'm just sort of going through my house at the moment and picking out all these um, little things that I can sort of use to save a few pennies. Because, you know, the the electric company, well, I've got gas and electric with um, here in the UK. It's called EDF Energy. Um, and they said, oh, you know, you need to put your direct debit up and all this, that and the other. But I've had my latest bill in and I'm £11 in credit. I'm not giving you my money. No, it can sit in my savings account. And then you can have it when I go into the, you know, when I start going um, into the red. Well, we're heading into summer now. So, you know, I'm not going to be going in the red. Not until potentially um, he's, um there winter next year so uh yeah no they can they can do one i'm not giving you my pennies people yeah so um i'm also i'm on a like an ebay forum and a lot of people are sort of moaning because it's their job uh selling on ebay is their paid job if you like and they're all moaning because there's no money coming in and I thought, mm. see, I was tempted to do that, um, not last year, year before, was quit my job and just do eBay full time because um, I'd found a really good source for some cheap clothes and things that I could sell on. Uh, but I'm so glad I didn't. I'm so glad I didn't because, yeah, it all just died off. Right, I think that's kind of mirrored. I'm not looking to mirror, mirror, but I want it to sort of be similar. So, um yeah, so it's all been a bit, a bit sort of interesting, switching stuff off and switching stuff off and going around making sure, like up here in the craft room, um, you know, I was leaving things like my ring light not on, but plugged in, ready to go. And apparently they do drain energy. So, um, yeah, I just come in here at night now when I go to bed and I just switch everything off. It's on sort of like... Um, there is extension leads, but they've got individual switches, so I just switch them off basically. So, yeah, so hopefully I will stay in credit with the uh, gas and electric company and um, not have to worry too much. I'm not going to go right to the edge because I've got to remember I'm having I've got seams to go in here and all sorts of things. So, uh, so that's that. Uh, I've talked your ears off for the last however many minutes that was. I'm just dipping the end of the paintbrush, as you can probably see. I must get some uh, more dog leads and things done for my daughter, because uh, that show is going to suddenly appear on my calendar, and I'm going to have nothing made, and then I go panic mode. So, must get some done. Well, we're hoping we've got a place actually she said that they're not getting back to her although they messaged her and said you know you can have a place they've not come back to confirm that we've got one <laughs> so i could be having a load of dog banners in uh, bandanas going in my shop soon <laughs> oh dear lordy right okay now as you can see i stamped some mushrooms here so i think i'll make that do for the white bits. Do I need any more any? See I've got a I obviously didn't do one there unless it's that there. Um 
you know, I can't really see it that well. I've got a similar one to that here, so we'll highlight that. Right. Okay. Um, let's do the stamping. Now, where's my mushrooms? Ah, they're still on the block. Happy days. So I'm going to stamp those in the opposite corner. I need my little bit of squishiness. I think if I do them there, I say I've got to remember there's going to be a seam here, so I'm going to lose a centimetre down there. Okay, so we'll do it here, I think. I'm just using black archival ink and um, my little stamp set that I got from the West Point Show, which is by Jamie's Originals. She hasn't put a website address on there, so I'm assuming, yeah, Jamie's Originals. I don't know if she's online. She was uh, very much a, uh, an indie, an indie, independent uh, uh, demonstrator or you know seller at the uh, show. So let's put them about there. Give them a good squidge. Yeah, they'll be better once they're highlighted. I'm going to go around a few other things, right, okay. Yeah, I knew you'd do that. I think I need a new, it's either this canvas or I need a new ink pad. But luckily, these are quite easy to line up. Sorry, my head is probably going to get in the way. an appointment with a chiropractor later interesting because although my hip is a lot better I was able to do Pilates and yoga last night it's still giving me some jip every now and again so I need him to just have a look and see what's what um, I don't know whether the hip's gone or something but the muscular pain is still there so anyway getting old for you I was going to say, where's my Posca? There he is. Right, let's just outline those slightly. Oh, these are Posca pens. I think it was, Erica, was it you said how do you spell it? And, and that's how you spell them. They are basically acrylic paint in a pen. And they're great fun. They're very permanent. You can use them on your gel plate. Um... Helen Sinclair, is it, is it Helen? I don't know. Anyway, uh, somebody Sinclair has just done um, a video using Posca pens on a gel plate, which is quite convenient. Right, we let that dry. Did I go around you? I think I did. I can see it there. Let's go around you again. Yeah, anything that pops up on my feed with gel printing in, I'm on it. As I say, she's, um, I'm sure it's Helen St. Clair, something like that. Anyway, you probably know exactly who I'm on about. Because you're all very good. I just hate that sound. But he's quite a gnarly canvas. Again, going to lose a bit up the top here for putting in the zip. But let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, scratchy, scratchy. Sorry if that's driving you nuts. Can I go around those? Yeah. It's been quite sketchy. I'm not sort of worrying too much about sort of being... Um, super super accurate so um i think i'll do there okay um yeah, i did go around some of the circles yeah okay let's just go for it susan stop trying to be matchy matchy because it doesn't really matter Again, a lot of that will disappear 
uh, into the zip, unfortunately. So I'm not going to fuss too much about things up there, although that one will be all right. And so will these. these very well so just do a partial yeah I can't really see them very well so I've got to worry too much Sorry, I know it's annoying, but I need to swivel it to get my hand in the right direction. Otherwise, it will be a mess. It's not brilliant, but it's free form. Okay. So, um, Sometimes you just have to be brave and do it. you're going dead straight and then the fabric catches the end of the nib and you just suddenly go wonky so not gonna work too much let's just get rid of that i think ambitious there with that. A bit big risk rather. It'll still show slightly but let's not make a biggie out of it. Um Pen. 
fail me now. Oh, crikey. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Um, there's a lot came out of there then. on before I put the dots on but never mind it's just not fuss right let's put the Posca pen away Susan because you are look at the state of me honestly two minutes I'm on this two minutes I'm already a mess and she wears my white one I do love me a Posca pen, they're great fun. To be careful because sometimes it floods like the black one did. I don't know if you can see my pad over there, but it literally flooded everywhere. So just be careful. I don't mind that they turn grey actually, that's quite nice. Right, oopie doke. funky it's different i hope the winner likes it we'll get there oh see see do you see that it's flooded so you just have to be a bit careful big white dot I can't see that properly because it looked really effective there but I can't and I don't want to I don't want to mess it up too much right okie doke that's that and then I used a permanent red pen for the tops of the mushrooms just to give them a little bit of colour I'm not looking for um Anatomical accuracy. If that's even the right phrase to use with mushrooms. I just coloured in. Yes, not that it makes much difference, but you just get a hint. Okay. And then, oh, 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 oh where'd you go? Oh man, I've just lost the lid to me pen. Right, I'll put it there and I'll remember to put it on. Okay. Just a bit of gold marker pen here. I can't remember if it was a shape one, but it isn't. But it's a nice colour actually. Right, so we'll let this dry completely. I'll heat set it with the iron and 
the last bit will be stitching it together which I will do with you and then um, yeah we'll make the draw um, colored in some of these red things didn't I just color in some of these put a bit of gold on there why not Again, going to lose those bits up there, so I'm not going to fuss too much. I could highlight that actually. Right, bear with me. I'm nearly there. I think. You can only just see these through here. I can't even see where that bit goes. Presumably it stops there. I'll do, I think, because otherwise we're in danger of messing it up. But yeah, I like that. Okay. Something fabric catches it. Urgh. Oops. calling that done for the painting effects size of it anyway so yeah that's what's been done today quite like in fact I like like to what I haven't done because sometimes if you just do one line it looks a little bit but it isn't easy on this canvas Just give it a bit more. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so there we are. So it'll look like that on one side. And that on the other side. So I hope you're getting something from this, from what I'm doing. It's, you know, it's all about playing and experimenting and not being afraid to play and experiment either. You know, you sometimes get into this fear zone of, oh, I'm going to mess it right up. Well, do you know what? It's a bit of fabric. I've got another metre of it, so I'm not going to worry. If I do mess it up, I can always try again, start again. All right? Okay, I'll leave it there for now, and, um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.